this Sony Vegas Pro 17 tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to create a swipe transition. First thing you'll want to do is go over to your Explorer, find your clips, and then get yourself the first clip by dragging it into the timeline. Since we don't need the audio, you can go ahead and select the audio layer and then press U and then go ahead and click on the audio track and press delete. You also want to right click on your video, go down to properties and then disable resample. You want to go ahead and look through your video and see whereabouts you want it to transition from one clip to another. So I don't want it to go any further than this. So I'm going to go ahead and press S on my keyboard and then delete the second part. You want to get yourself the second clip and then drag it on a separate video track. You want to zoom in with your scroll wheel and you pretty much want to use your left arrow key on your keyboard and then go back 10 frames. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Once you've got to the 10th frame, you wanna go ahead and press M on your keyboard to get yourself a mark point. With that mark point, you want to get your second clip and drag it all the way to that first mark point. You also want to click on your top layer and then press S to split it and then do the same for the second clip. So they are separate. We're gonna start off with the first clip. So this is the one where you want to go to the event slash crop. And first of all, you want to leave the first keyframe as normal, go all the way to the end, and then you want to hold shift and then press up on your arrow keys. So this will make it go all the way like this. So once you've moved it all the way to the top, you want to go to the first keyframe right click on it and set to smooth. So if we just quickly preview this, as you can see, it's moving down. Once you've done your first clip, you wanna go over to your second clip, go to the same place, event slash crop, and then this time things are a little bit more different. So you want to left click and then drag this all the way to the end. You want to left click on the screen, but make sure you don't move it too far. We're just gonna scroll out so we can see it a lot better. This time it's gonna be a little bit more confusing because you want to hold shift and then press the down arrow key on your keyboard. So move this all the way down like so. So if we preview this, you can see it goes from one to another, but we also need to right click on it and set to smooth. So they both have the same animation as you can see. So we've got the first bit, which is making it go from one to another, but it's a little bit boring. There's nothing exciting to it. So this is when we're gonna apply some effects. So if you go over to the video effects, you want to go to linear burn, which is right here. The one that we're gonna be using is the vertical extreme. So you wanna get yourself the effect and then you want to click on the little stopwatch right here for the animation. The first one, you want to leave it at 200, but you wanna move it all the way to the end. Now that you've done that, you wanna to go to the start of it and then set this to zero for the amount. But you also want to right click on the keyframe and then set this one to fast fade. Now that you've got your first clip, you also want to apply it to your second clip. And then once again, click on the stopwatch. This time, leave it at 200 on the start and then go all the way to the end and then set this to zero for the amount. You want to go back to the first keyframe, right click on it and then set this one to smooth. And that is pretty much it. If we have a look at this, this is the swipe transition and it's very smooth and very effective but anyway i hope this video was helpful if it was give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought of it i have more sony vegas pro tutorials on my channel so go ahead and click that subscribe button if you want to see more and yeah i will see you all in my next video